dices ahorita que me quieres a tu lado, qué lindo sería. Si tú me das, te invito a que dejemos todo un lado. Que empieza la liga, yo sé que me dices que sí, que sí, que sí, que sí. Yo sé que me dices que sí, que sí, que sí, que sí. Yo sé que me dices que sí, que sí, que sí, que sí. Yo sé que me dices que sí, que sí, que sí, que sí. All right, so we turn our attention to the Spanish top flight, La Liga. The race for the 2023-2024 La Liga title continues to intensify as the heavy hitters in Spain all registered crucial victories over the weekend. But in the midst of the usual suspects for the title, a Catalan fairy tale continues to take shape as Girona remain top of the table. Let's take a look at the results from the weekend. All right, so we had Barcelona getting that 2-1 win over Alaves. Sevilla could only manage a one all draw against Real Betis. A 3-1 win for Atletico Madrid against Villarreal. Girona 2-1 over Rayo Vallecano. Real Sociedad overcoming Almeria 3-1. A one all draw between Granada and Hitafe. Same result, one all draw between Osasuna and Las Palmas. Real Madrid, very, very dominant on the weekend. A 5-1 win over Valencia. And a lot of goals in that match between Athletic Bilbao and Celta Vigo. Athletic Bilbao walking away with all three points. Well, this is how the top teams are shaping up in the race for the title. We have Girona sitting pretty on top on 34 points. Two points separate Real Madrid from Girona, who is in second position. Barcelona in third spot on 30 points and Atletico Madrid in fourth on 28 points. Note that four points separate Athletic Bilbao from Atletico Madrid. So team, it's only fitting that we start with the table leaders, Arona, another dominant performance on the weekend, ensuring that they keep that spot at the top of the table. Yeah, you know what? It, they showed a lot of character in that, gap, that match because they had gone uh, behind on an early goal. Yes. And, and rallied impressively. And, you know, everyone is discussing how long will they be able to sustain this? And the fact is that they, their, their log of matches so far hasn't really tested them in a significant way. So there is some expectation that when they have tougher matches, they will begin to falter a bit. But the fact is that you can't, you can't um, discredit what they have done so far. Yes. Because Vallecano isn't a bad team and Vallecano took the lead on them early on Saturday and they had to rally to get the win. Um, no team has scored more goals in La Liga so far this season than they have. They do, though, have conceded more goals among the top four teams than any of the other teams. So uh, maybe defensively, they, those may be some signs that when the opposition gets tougher, they will struggle to win matches. But up to this point, you have to laud Girona and, and their, their coaching staff for the season that they have had so far because... Um, they just keep leading and, and, and not giving up their advantage. And just to add to that point that you made about, you know, not facing the tougher teams. And of course, it's only match week 13, so we have to give it some time. I will add that Real Madrid, you know, they closed the gap between Girona and themselves on the weekend. And what we saw from Real Madrid was a dominant, complete team performance, as if they were sending a message. And that message, I strongly believe, is that even if Jude Bellingham, because we've been talking about this, if Jude doesn't contribute, who contributes? Well, Vinicius Jr. contributed on the weekend. They got a goal from Danny Carvajal and they also got a goal from Rodrigo. So they're saying that, they're replying to me and saying, OK, hold up, we have other people that can score for us, so don't get too excited. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I wanted to see this goal. Just have a look at this goal, um, Lance and Mariah. Initially, it looked like a brilliant diving header. I hope we get the replay here. Have a look at this. Where did that come off? His chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a goal. Yeah, what, what a goal. But yes, um, clinical performance coming from Real Madrid at the weekend. And you are right, Mariah. They might well be, have been looking to, to send a message um, about the depth that they have in their squad and the quality that they have outside of Jude Bellingham. And the truth is, if they're going to go on to win the Liga, if they're going to go on to do well in Europe again, they will need these players to step up like a Vinicius Jr. and so on. Because if they don't, 
while Jude Bellingham has done a brilliant job of carrying and lifting this team so far in some massive moments, they are not going to win titles without getting help around him. So this was good to see. Um, quickly though, on the point of uh, Hirona and uh, Lance, you, you started the discussion um, about how long they will stay at the top of the table. I should think it's already remarkable that they have been there first of all and that they have been able to remain there for as long as they have because remember they they had the lead early in the season they lost it and now they are back atop the table for the last two match weeks and the thing that has really impressed me personally about this Irona team is the character that they continue to show because a number of games that they could easily have lost that they have found a way to win and I love the style of football they play they play front foot football they are looking to score goals they are looking to outscore their opponents and yeah let's see maybe it is that as they go on um, teams will work them out um, maybe it is they won't be able to sustain this for the duration of the season but what they've already done is to me quite impressive yeah and you speak about you know teams working them out and instantly I'm thinking about Barcelona and not not in the manner in which they can work Hirona out but the fact that something Ricardo appears not to be right at Barcelona and I say that because before when you know teams were dominating I would say my rebuttal would be that you know Barcelona has a long injury list the injury list has been cleared most of the t of the players are back on the field for Barcelona but it appears as if we're still not seeing the best of this Barcelona squad something is not right yeah, you know sometimes I think it can be difficult when you have had a number of injuries and, and players are out and you're chopping and changing and you're trying to get the the right dynamic for the unit it can take some time so yes um, the injury list might have been cut significantly and players are back but when they do return they still require some time um, you know to gel again with the unit and 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 get the right chemistry going for the side so I think give them some time they are remaining close and that's important yes. there's a long way still to go in this La Liga campaign for a lot still to happen and I, I think you just have to give them some time and see. Yeah, knows that Barcelona came from behind to beat Alaves on the weekend, so they sit in third position. Let's take a quick break, and when we come back, it's time for Interactive. <laughs> Que sí, 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 que sí